my printer's been broken for a while now. Please fill me an IT ticket. An IT technician is always as soon as possible. My room is right here. I'm just following protocol, sir. <sighs> Superintendent has made everything so complicated. Have a good day. You're back. Victor, this is Corey Isner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And fun fact, his dad works here, right? Or was it something else? My dad works on the board. Right. And your Grammy was a founding member, right? Grandfather. Sorry, I have a terrible memory. Hey, you look a lot like Rex. Speaking of which, Rex asked for a meeting with you guys at 3 o'clock. So let's call it a wrap for the day. Vic, why don't you show Corey the workstation? Sure. Yeah, so this is where we'll be working. Very nice, I guess. Yeah, I guess the job done. By the way, what was your last name again? Lee. Lee. Do I know that name? I don't know. I'm just an IT guy. Yeah, whatever. Don't you want to sit down? Uh, not really. We have to go soon. <laughs> soon? We got like five minutes. How long does it even take us to walk over there? Well, I try to make sure I'm always on time with Rex. All right. You know, my dad told me he's quite rigid as a boss, but then I think that's because he's so young and energetic. I was shocked to see how young he was at my interview. But at the same time, his family does have a history here at the school. Yeah. You know... My dad told me all these stories about Rex's dad and granddad. Three superintendents in a row? They're basically like a royal family here at King Prep. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I think we should go. Sure, man. Is that why you wanted to be early? I usually listen to music while I wait. Corey, Victor, Mr. Rex will see you now. I thought it was better than that. We'll be all right. <sighs> Another example of a prophet has no honor in his hometown, I guess. You really like that story, don't you? Not the being thrown off the cliff part. What are you guys talking about? Sorry, Mr. Isner. You'll have to ask Vic to tell you later. Could you get the door, Vic? You know, we're in a really important era here at King Prep. I'm sure your dad told you all about this. He has. Well, I've got a special assignment for you guys. Mr. Hill has actually already started working on it. What is it? You guys will be going through the archives. What archives? You could call it the history of the school. Oh, cool. So like office records, contracts, that kind of stuff? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Vic's description's not as glamorous as mine, is it? Yeah. I know it sounds boring, but it's been long overdue. The two guys before me had other things to worry about, I guess. <laughs> but we stand on the shoulders of giants, don't we? Well, Mr. Hill has more details for you, and you'll get started first thing tomorrow. Thank you again, Mr. Rex. My pleasure. See you, Vic. See you, Joe. Maybe we'll find some cool stuff about my dad and granddad. I don't know. I've been looking through some of the stuff already and I wouldn't expect anything like that. Just trying to find some extra motivation for work. Okay. Not a bad idea. See you tomorrow. Hey, are he and Rex related? Oh, he didn't tell you? Tell me what? They're cousins. Victor just doesn't like bringing it up all the time. So? Did you tell him yet? What? That we're related? 
I think you just find out on his own. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. It's hard to live up to my name, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not that. Well, then what is it? Not uh, thrown off the cliff part? I think they might throw me off with you. <laughs> oh, man. So where are we going to eat? Thank you.